What is up, guys? It's Fabio. My friends call me Fobster. Here on behalf of a toy kind of mood for a very special figure review. He is very nice, very evil. He is the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Danhausen. First of all, got to give a big shout out to JP over at Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible. And a big thank you to Travis for sending this my way to take a look at because he knows I'm a big fanhausen. Now, quickly taking a look at the packaging because it's just awesome with lots of very nice, very evil images of the Manhausen himself throughout. You can see he's numbered 136 in the AEW Unrivaled collection. And if you open up this flap in the front, it looks like Danhausen is opening up his cape to reveal the figure within. So now, without further ado, let's take him out of the packaging and put him into the light box and take a closer look. And here we have Danhausen out of the packaging so we can take a closer look at him, starting with the cape. Now, the entrance cape, I think, is really nice looking and very nice, very evil. In fact, the printing on it is very vibrant. The stitching, I think, looks really great and clean. The gauge used for the wire is super sturdy, a very nice thick material that holds its poses really well. It even has it on the collar up here if you wanted to enclose it a little bit more or flare it out. However, some of the Velcro enclosures on it, I feel, are just a little bit cheap feeling as far as Look, it pretty much just wants to come off right away, and unless you really pose the cape inward to kind of simulate kind of a flare-out, it's always going to want to come off pretty easily. The front part over here is just two kind of starchy pieces of fabric layered on each other, so I don't really love that. You can see it just wants to come off already, and even the stitching on the Velcro itself is already starting to come off, so I would worry over time about pulling this on and off too many times and maybe undoing the stitching and starting to fray it but out of packaging it was already kind of like this half hanging on it it wants to stay on but not at the same time it's just not the best velcro right there and we can take the cape off by just undoing the velcro enclosure there on the front he has two more shoulder straps right here if we lift up the back first of all you'll see he has a big tag on there so i don't love that i would maybe recommend cutting that to <laughs> remove this big white tag off the back of him but just underneath that is one more velcro enclosure right there you can just remove that, and just like that, the cape comes off so that we can take a closer look at some of the other details on the figure. Once again, I do love that this cape was included. It is exclusive to this version of Danhausen from Ringside Collectibles, so I'm very glad that it was included, but I will say, if you're not a fan of soft goods, this might not do enough to convince you. Now, with the cape off, let's bring it in for a closer look at Danhausen so we can take a look at these details because he is just super sharp. Now, starting with the face, one of the iconic things about Danhausen, of course, being his Pazuzu-style face paint. A lot of the colors coming through really sharp here with a little bit of the red coming through underneath the black there, those sharp points going up the forehead there, that bright white color just hitting you there. And you can see it's even a slightly different white than what's used on the teeth, which have a little bit more of a natural color to them. The black going along the chin and up the sides there looking really sharp onto the ears. And one of my favorite details is how the front of his hair is painted black to match the face paint, but the rest of his hair is the regular hair color, which is just such a fun uh, attention to detail there. And then moving down a little bit, of course, his tattoo work is just super crisp on this figure. The kind of bat demon here on his chest looking super sharp. A lot of great colors used throughout. Good mixes of reds and blues and yellows and just really well done. Even some of the smaller ones like along his wrists there all came out just super, super sharp. But this brings me into another small complaint that I have, and it's just par for the course with these AEW figures, would be the pins on the arms, of course, do cut into the tattoo art, which unfortunately, you know, is just, again, par for the course for these figures. But moving it down a little bit more so we can take a look at the details of the trunks there with the teeth along the waistband here and that swirl in the front. On the back, we got that more demonic looking, slightly more very evil and very nice here on this Danhausen art along the back there. Along the uh, right leg, it says Danhausen up here, very nice. And then along the left leg, very evil. Some great uh, patterning work from the grays and the blacks throughout the legs. Going down to his calves with these red stripes and into the boots, which look like Doc Martens with the yellow stitching along the sole there. Just really good attention to detail throughout this figure. All of them very, very sharp, very well applied. These decals just feel really good. And with that plastic... Out of the packaging, you don't get any of that red bleeding from the dye of the cape, which really helps preserve the skin tone. And on the back, he doesn't have any tattoos, but it does give us a good look at the skin tone overall, which you can see does match along the arms 
and the torso really well. Just a good improvement that they've made throughout the AEW line compared to those earlier figures that had sort of mismatched colors in the skin tone between the arms and the torso. Overall, the details on this guy are just so sharp, so clean, and they really did justice to such a bright character. And now moving down to take a look at the accessories that Danhausen comes with. He does have two interchangeable portraits right here on top of the one he comes out of packaging with. This one here looking a little bit more of an angry grimace. You can see one of the lips is slightly more curled up on one side than the other, which is a really nice look for Danhausen. For him, he's a little more, again, very evil than very nice. And then this one is his classic or be cursed face, just super good with the uh, mouth slightly more agape. Would have been nice to have a little bit more red on the inside, and since you can see a little bit of the tongue, it would have been nice to just have a slightly more of a hit of red in there to really bring it out. But overall, the face printing on all of these portraits is just so nice. Continuing that same sort of black along the front of the hair versus the brown of the regular hair color on the rest of him, very consistent throughout all of the portraits. And he comes with two additional pairs of interchangeable hands. These are sort of his more pointing uh, cursed hands or cursing hands, if you will. One thing I really uh, like is that these seem like they are new hands specific to Danhausen because on both of the other extra pairs, as well as the ones on him out of packaging, he does have this ring that he always does wear. So that is a good attention to detail. Again, these are sort of his more pointing hands. And then these other pair right here are some of the more sort of gestural hands, you know, when he's uh, sort of, you could maybe even use these for gripping for other wrestlers. The ones on him out of packaging are sort of more open, relaxed hands right there. Now, interchanging the accessories on the Danhausen figure are very easy. You just simply pop the head off just like that, and the other heads pop on with no problem. Hands, same thing. If you wanted to get Danhausen into his classic curse pose, obviously he has all of the articulation necessary to do that. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the articulation right now. Of course, if I pop the head off again, you can't see it is on a ball joint with a disc hinge on the front, which is nice. Allows him to look up and down quite a bit. He also has a diaphragm joint there at the torso. And in order to remove that plastic that came on him out of packaging, I did actually have to pop him off at the torso just like that. So you can see it's just a, uh, and a barbell ball joint and just pops right in there as well as at the waist same kind of thing double ball joint there so he does have really good range of torso movement right there very impressive leans back quite a bit as well maybe not Ooh, how far can we push it though yeah i'd say he leans back a good amount leans forward and very impressive amount as well once you get into the legs and the arms he does have the shoulders that go forward, back, side to side, all of that, in and out. No butterfly joint on him. That's reserved for some of the more uh, Ultimate Edition figures. But he does have a bicep swivel there. He's got his double-jointed elbows. And then his hinge on the wrist right there, as you can see when you interchange the hands. He does twist at the waist as well, of course. Mm, the legs are on ball joints as well and go forward and not back very much at all as i'm trying right here they don't really go back too much but they do move forward a pretty good amount there if you want to get them into a kick it's got double jointed knees as well which have a nice bend to them and one thing that i thought was a little interesting is that it seems like he has a cut right here at the shin to be able to rotate there but that just seems like it's part of the sculpting the actual calf rotation is actually here at the boot closer to the ankle and uh, that is at the top of the boot there which is nice and then he also has a full ankle rocker, which is very, very nice. And now all of this articulation and the interchangeable accessories do allow you to get some very, very classic Danhausen poses. So if you wanted to get him into his or be cursed sort of look, there you go. Really classic look for Danhausen there. His feet will go down really nice and flat. So if you want to spend some time posing this guy, going up against other wrestlers, definitely has all the articulation that you've come to expect from these AEW unrivaled figures. Now getting into some size comparisons, here we have Dan Housen next to a couple of spooky red caped guys in my collection. Both of these from Super 7. On the left is King Diamond, on the right is Batula from The Worst. Here's Dan Housen compared to a couple of Batman figures. On the left is the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Michael Keaton 1989 Batman. On the right is the DC Direct animated series Batman from the Bat Cycle set. Next up, here is Dan Housen next to the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Doctor Strange on the left, and on the right is the Toy Biz X-Men movie Ian McKellen as Magento. 
So final thoughts overall on this Ringside Collectibles exclusive Dan Housen. This is a fantastic figure. If you've been collecting the AEW Unrivaled line or Unmatched, this is just such a great addition to that collection. This is probably the best version of Dan Housen, given the inclusion of the soft goods cape, which of course is executed so well. Aside from its small shortcomings, overall I think it adds so much to the look of this Dan Housen. You can even get him into this iconic pose with him sort of half covering his face with the cape, given the nice steel gauge of the bendy wire in there and the posability of the figure himself. The details are just so sharp. And on a personal note, I'm just such a fan housing myself. I've been subscribed to his YouTube channel since before he was even signed with AEW. He's one of us. He's a toy collector, toy hunter, and to see him living his dreams and having such success in AEW and Ring of Honor and beyond and finally getting his own figure is just such a win for us as a community and i'm very happy to have this figure in hand Tanhausen is also embarking on a figure signing tour so if you manage to get this figure or any other of his figures you'll have a few opportunities around the country to be able to meet Danhausen and get your figure signed and really commemorate just what a special achievement this is for us as a community this Danhausen gets a very big recommend from me there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel at A Toy Kind of Mood if you haven't already. Just want to thank my friends at A Toy Kind of Mood once again for the opportunity to review this awesome figure. Make sure you follow them on Instagram at A Toy Kind of Mood as well. You can also follow me on Instagram at Bobster360, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Bobster360, where I primarily talk 112 scale soft goods figures. I'll be back to season three of my weekly streaming series very soon, so please subscribe there if you'd like to check that out. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.